if you look at the best value-added company, it's almost all American, right? So I don't know if there's any advantage uh, brought us here in Singapore that might, um, you know, uh, incubate some big ideas or interesting things in Web3. I think the best thing about crypto, it's been, it's been a really good force of, of equalization. And we have the saying at Dragonfly that, you know, things are global from day one, right? So it really doesn't matter where, you know, you know, there was no such thing as Bitcoin for San Francisco first, right? You, you launch Bitcoin and all of a sudden it gets translated into Chinese and it's global, right? So the, a lot of the, um, the nature of crypto is that the product is global from day one and the founders could be from anywhere. So I think that is an amazing feature of crypto, right? Where it's not that you have to take a Western mentality or an Eastern mentality is like you have to just build something that solves a problem that a global population would love to use, right? So it puts you on a global stage and global mindset um, very quickly. Tom studied in Beida. Yeah, 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 right. So yeah, this, I'm literally the guy to ask here. And yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, but no, I mean, I, I very much you know agree with that. Like, uh -huh. um, like you look at some of the biggest projects. And it's like, there's no way they would have gotten like Silicon Valley VC funding. There's no way people would have, you know, trusted them. Like, you know, we were talking about Polygon earlier. Polygon is like, you know, a bunch of kids from like India and they have like one of the most popular, you know, products in crypto. And it's like, when was the last time that happened? Like, when, when you know, they're like, they're just like inconceivable, I think, of in, in, in Web2. And so um, I think you're right that different regions might have different kind of, kind of strengths. But the big story here is that um, anyone can start their own project and go global. Um, and that's kind of where you see, I think, a lot of the, the, uh, the strengths. I think, you know, uh, US, China, um, we mon monopolize in, in venture capital. The reason being that because these two are the largest unified markets. To, for corporations, it's easy to build large businesses. So Web two, you know, you, you see, you uh, uh, for instance, um, VCs in India or VCs in in, in uh, Southeast Asia or in um, uh, Europe is less successful, right? Um, but this is very much of a corporate ideal, right? So I think in in crypto, uh, first thing is that uh, human society now is more uh, 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 fragmented in terms of talents and then they don't need uh, so much to become uh, uh, like a successful platform, right? So almost like it's Justin Bieber with uh, YouTube, right? It's like Taylor Swift with YouTube, right? It gives, for uh, crypto is like the platform that gives entrepreneurs, like two people, uh, like our team from, uh, from uh, uh, Doom, right? Uh, like a polygon from India, like you know, people can can have a very little uh, 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 sort of uh, corporate resources that actually can utilize the community and grassroots it, and and um, and, and then really got to the top, right? I mean, Vitalik, if it's not with for Chinese, Vitalik's uh, Ethereum wouldn't like mm. launch and, and and be a success. Uh, uh, um, at the, at the beginning, right? Yeah. So I mean, you know, when, you know, like, for example, Fenbush is like very famous for for funding Metallic, right? Yeah. I mean, so so um, our markets, and our culture, in talking about the Chinese, right? So we we are uh, not an original creation culture, but we are a very original early adoption culture, mm -hmm. and because we had that gambling mentality, right? And then we also have we, we Chinese investors are the most risk tolerant. Mm. Right, and then we have RMB, which is you know pretty much a, a, a currency within the walls. So mm. we need the 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 innovation. So we use the innovation, right? So I think China and then the the, the, the Chinese community is one of the most uh, important crypto uh, uh, adoption culture mm. in the world of crypto, and that's why all the exchanges are are run by 
uh, Chinese teams, yeah. and now they're all very global, right? Mm -hmm. But you know, Binance, OK, Huobi, mm -hmm. you know, Bitget, uh, Bybit, you know, yeah, you know, like you name it, uh, uh, KuCoin, mm -hmm. right? I mean, they're all, but and also because China last twelve years have uh, gone through the the biggest uh, uh, deployment of ca venture capital in O two O, so they trained the best fierce web two teams in the world you know we back some of the teams in china from like uh, d bank from uh, you know Ulema and, and and then more and more those talents and they are in pairs uh, actually works better like i i can easily see you know one engineer from you know uh tiktok and one engineer from uh Tenxin teamed up and showed up in singapore and get our money and then you know we we build something, you know, wonderful, and, and, and change certain area of things. You know, so so it's just share of numbers. We're bigger markets mm -hmm. of talent, or bigger markets of adoption, uh, adoption, and we our society. I mean, talking about Chinese society is really really experienced in using crypto, more experienced than, than the U.S. market actually. You know, in terms of Bitcoin and Ethereum and all that things, right? So. So global from day one, everybody's a little very different.